Are you annoyed, depressed, frustrated about the endless layer of clouds that prevents you shooting? Fear no more. We say no more because here comes the Cloud Exterminator by RC Astro, enabling you to ignore the clouds once and for all. And this is how it works. Simply point your scope at a spot where you believe your object of desire is. Create an exposure and enter it into Cloud Exterminator. And the AI-enabled object recognition function will immediately return a picture of your desire, be it a galaxy, a nebula, or even a planetary nebula. Cloud Exterminator. Because if there's one thing that belongs exterminated, it's clouds. Hey, this is View Into Space. I'm Sascha from Switzerland, so good to meet you on, and thanks for watching my channel. Well, the Cloud Exterminator, fortunately, it's a joke, but unfortunately, the eternal clouds are kind of a reality for everybody not located in Arizona or Nevada or Spain. And I'm not even kidding here. Have a look here at the cloud cover at the moment. If you go to Europe or the US or Australia, there is an amazing amount of clouds. And you get these complaints that for months and months and months now, nobody can shoot from all of these locations. And you can see here my outlook for the next about two weeks. For me, it's red, 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 so no shooting. And, and this goes on now really for months, I think since October. And before that, about every week, I had about one day at least where I had clear skies. Be it in, in just an unfortunate coincidence, be it a climate change, it is a hard fact. For a lot of us, for the moment, we cannot shoot which is for what we bought all this very expensive equipment. So then obviously the question comes, what should we do with our time? Now, if you ask my wife, there's a lot to do actually in the garden. Also, there's some paint job on the house, but that's not what we're talking about today. But we want to stay in a field of astrophotography, but at a moment where we have clouds. So I bring you now the top 10 things you can do in no specific sequence. So number one, astronomy. We sometimes forget, but underlying of our photographic activity is a science called astronomy. And you can practically spend an infinite amount of time to learn everything there is to learn in this area. And it's very interesting. And the more we learn about astronomy, the more interesting it is to shoot these objects because we have a more thorough understanding of what we're shooting. And last year I did a video about a Coursera course called Astronomy Exploring Time and Space by the University of Arizona. And I will put the link of this video in the description below. I can absolutely recommend these course but also there's a zillion of YouTube videos out there about astronomy, other trainings. So if you're the type who likes to read, learn, watch, you can spend any amount of time doing that. And it really benefits your hobby. Next topic, cable management. Does your rig still look kind of like this one? Then you have something to do. And doing proper cable management on your rig takes quite some time because it should not only look beautiful, but it also <laughs> need to be functional so that you actually do, don't do it worse. And there's even a bigger problem of things not moving, but that it really prevents all the entanglement, but still gives the full flexibility for the rig to move where it should. And you see, it can look much better after you have done that. And even if your rig still stands inside afterwards, but it's even nicer to look at. And there's even a smaller chance that your dog, cat, child rips some cable down. So a lot of advantages. So connected to that number three, balancing. It really might pay off that you really check in each and every axis if your mount is fully and perfectly balanced. And you can see, for example, here, I realized that I had to put some screw in my mount and put some weights on it to get it fully balanced. I had to search for these weights. 
So if you really go into detail and if you really look that by each and every gram it's fully balanced, it's also quite a challenging task but it definitely will pay off at the moment you have clear sky again. Number four, don't we all love that? New equipment. I mean, my whole new rig came practically in this phase where there were constant clouds and I built and built and built and built and I built it to perfection. And given that each equipment part that you actually buy has a consequence of a lot of other changes on your rig, the rebalancing, the new cable management, understanding the functionality of the new gear, how it interacts, what drivers you need on your PC and so on. And all of these things do not need any clear skies. So it's the perfect moment to build your dream rig. Next topic, reprocess your picks. There's so much new software out there with Blur Exterminator, still a little bit earlier with SPCC and a lot of new techniques that we learned about the colorized SHO so that there's definitely an infinite amount of possibilities that you can reprocess your pics. And if you have your pictures on Astrobean, you can actually add new iterations. So you can easily show to the community the progress that you made in processing. Next topic, learn new software. You don't have Pix Inside yet? That's the moment to start. All the time in the world to learn each and every process. You want to go more into automation and learn Nina and the different plugins? Perfect moment. And I'm actually learning at the moment even another software which works well together in a very new version with Nina. And I will tell you all about that in about two, three weeks, I would guess. So stay tuned for that. Next one, create imaging lists. Do you instinctively always photograph the Orion Nebula or the Rosette Nebula or the Eagle Nebula and people get totally bored? That's the moment to actually look into all these smaller unknown nebulas, galaxies, objects that you could actually take a picture of for the rest of the year. So that when the sky clears up, you do not totally panic and have no clue anymore what you actually want to shoot, but that you're prepared for each and every moment from now on and you know exactly where your priorities are. Number eight, watch YouTube videos. Why don't you just start with all of mine? I have over 100. I'm just kidding. But it's kind of funny. I do for my Patreon community an Astro Video Digest. So each and every week I watch about every new Astro YouTube video that comes out and then just tell them what they should watch and what they should not watch. But I feel by being forced to kind of watch all this stuff, it's amazing how much you learn. And sometimes videos which I would otherwise not have watched and then you find this or that nugget which really help you. So there's an unlimited amount of wisdom, knowledge, experience in YouTube. Then number nine might sound funny but get a sun filter. And I haven't one yet but I'm considering it because it seems like there's a lot of times the sun over the day is visible. Even if generally the weather is cloudy but there's always this moment in a day that the sun is shining. So I could use that and make a photo of the sun. And so my rig would not feel that useless. And last but not least, update your portfolio. And what I mean with that, I sometimes see on Instagram these little pictures with all the messy objects, the one grayed out, which you have not yet recorded, and then very tiny icons of the ones where you already have shot a picture. And I have this for a long time on my to-do list. And recently I have found a website which actually does that for you kind of. So you upload your picture and then you have these full portfolios of messy objects and other catalog classifications. And I think that's a great way of actually keeping track of what you have already shot and what you still have to. And with the website that I just mentioned, it's still in beta stage and I'm in close contact with the guy who develops it. And as soon as it's ready, I will actually publish a video and um, show it to you in full glory. But I'm really excited about this project and um, stay tuned. So that was it already. A little bit a lighter, more funny video. 
I still hope you got something out of it. And with that, see you next time. And this time I really mean it. Clear skies.